Hello guys, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 back with another NASCAR review. This one's on Eric Jones going to Sprint Cup in 2016. Eric Jones will drive the number 77 5 Hour Energy Toyota for Furniture Row Racing as they are expanding to two teams, which is pretty cool because they're a small team. They're the underdogs pretty much. But now they're kind of turning into the favorites. If you look at it, Martin Truex Jr. has won two races this year. And he has really found himself with Furniture Row. It would kind of be a shock if he left. But he's signed for a while. So I think he'll be there. But anyways, pretty much this is a seat warmer. As It looks like he's only going to be there for one year, maybe two years. But... He should have some good equipment as he is going to, like I said, 5 energy, 22 races leaving Clint Boyer. Kind of weird that they followed him through this terrible year with Boyer and now they now jump to Eric Jones instead of like pulling a Napa and go, maybe sponsoring an Xfinity with Eric Jones and going to cup with him. That was kind of weird. And then he'll have Chris Gale as his crew chief, which, which he is a very good crew chief. He is Kyle Busch's Xfinity crew chief, and he has like seven or eight wins. So I would expect him to be a very smart crew chief. So overall, what I think of this, this is great for Furniture Row. Furniture Row has been, I remember they were struggling to even qualify for races now they're like the top one of the top teams in the garage as they started really like 20th and then Kurt when Kurt Busch came over that really put Furniture Row on the map with their consistency as they they beat uh a couple good teams like they were ahead of Jeff Gordon I think they were ahead of Logano in points they were ahead of uh, a lot of other good drivers and they ended up making the chase that year. Now, this was obviously before the chase. They were doing pretty good, but now it's to be a couple other good teams. And then 2014, while well, Martin Truex Jr. got released because of the spin gate, because Napa left for Chase Elliott. And then Martin Truex struggled in 2014. He just he just had bad luck. He had bad he was supposed to start on the front row for the Daytona 500, got in a wreck. He had a lot of he had a lot of other issues that kept him behind, but towards the end of the season, like Kansas, he was running top ten, so it looked like something could happen. And then in twenty fifteen, he breaks out, gets a win. He was pretty fast the whole year. He was outperforming RCR, which is pretty good. And he ended up getting himself into the chase, going to the final four and finishing fourth in the championship. Probably one of the best like, small teams out there, besides, like, Ryan Newman's, even RCR is a bigger team, but he really, he almost upset it, I mean, that, and then in 2016, he gets Bass Pro, Auto Owners Insurance, and he gets Toyota, and now, look, he is a powerhouse, he has two wins, and he is really competing, so Furniture Row is climbing the ladder to be one of the bigger teams. So, how I think Eric Jones will do in 2017, I really, I, to be honest, I, as much as I just bragged about him, I really don't see Eric Jones doing well. I see him running well, but I just, I, I feel like the 77 car is going to be plagued with issues in 2017. I mean, you look at the four car for Stuart Haas Racing, that Kevin Harvick in 2014, he had fast cars, but yet they also had like mechanic, stupid mechanical issues. They had, well, got in some wrecks, had a lot of, just a lot of bad luck. I mean, Kevin Harvick was 28th in points, I think, at the beginning of 2014. And then they eventually turned it around and won. And then obviously 2015, 2016, it got better. Half, he got up there. Same with Carl Ed I think Kurt Bush was also the same, but also same with Carl Edwards last year. That team that team was like twentieth in points before they won at Charlotte and got themselves in the chase and then eventually by the end of the season they were they were doing well and now Edwards is sitting pretty good in points and he's got two wins. 
I, th I feel like that's going to happen with this 77 team. They're going to be really fast, but there's going to be a lot of wrecks that, that are going to hurt this team. I feel like he might be like 20th in points because of their issues. And you know Furniture Racing, their pit crew makes mistakes. It seems like Martin Truex, he had Kansas, he had Kansas pretty much won, and then I think he had like a loose wheel, and that costed him. Then New Hampshire, he had issues. I think a couple other weeks he had issues. And he event he missed out on having like three wins just because of those. So I feel like the 77 is going to have those issues. But in contrast, I do see Eric Jones maybe by the midseason, may, he, might, he might get a win. If you look at it, Toyota is at the top of their game. Their worst car right now is Matt Kenseth, and Matt Kenseth has two wins, and he's got like a handful of top fives and top tens, and he's normally, it's sometime, he's around top five, top ten every week. That's that's Toyota's, well, Toyota's worst car. I mean, BK Racing, it's a different story, but that's technically their worst car, and yet that car, Matt Kenseth's 20, is doing better than pretty much Hendrick. They're doing better than Hendrick. They're doing better than RCR. They're doing better than Tony Stewart. They're doing better than a lot of other guys that you'd expect maybe to have some speed. And I'd say they're better also than like Kurt Busch, a couple of the other ones. I'd say, so that's pretty good. I'd say Eric Jones, I think he if, if those guys can, if the worst Toyota car has two wins, Eric Jones, I think, can at least get one win before the chase. Where? That's de uh, yet to be decided. I'm thinking maybe the Bristol night race. I mean, he's good at Bristol. Maybe Dover, even, if it's that early. But I think he's going to have some chances to win that get away for maybe a mechanical issue or he gets in a wreck. But I do end up seeing Eric Jones. I think Eric Jones is going to make the chase by a win. I don't think he'll make it on points. So that's what I think. But then I think overall with that 77 car, they'll build up. So now, obviously, that might, only, that might just be a one-year deal. I'm not sure if Eric Jones will be there a second year. But I, I feel like signs could be point. There's some signs that are pointing to... Matt Kenseth possibly being kicked out, and I'm not saying he might he's going to retire, but I'm saying he might have to leave Gibbs. I have a feeling if Matt Kenseth might just go to Furniture Row and let Eric Jones go to the 20 to get to get more seat time. But if you look at it, D. Walt is sponsoring 15 races, and Five Hour Energy is sponsoring 22. So if you add those up, you get. 37, which is the which is one shy of the Sprint Cup schedule, so that could be an indication that maybe they're they're planning for 2018 for Eric Jones to go to 20, and it I know that it maybe it's just how sponsors win, but it's just kind of weird. And I mean, and, and trust me, if you don't see very many sponsors on that 20 car, that means something's up because. You look at Tony Stewart's car, they, they're having sponsorship issues. Like they have they they have Nature's Bakery sponsoring one race. They have Haas Automation sponsoring a race. That means they're probably working out something with Clint Boyer, possibly to get a new sponsor. That's what that's what could happen. Matt Kenseth might have D Walt, but he might get like a bunch of borrowed sponsors. He might end up getting like sports clips or like all these random sponsors to fill out that car until they get five hour energy in Eric Jones. I mean, I'm not saying that's that's what's gonna happen, but it's a chance that it does happen. So and then obviously if it doesn't happen, Eric Jones will be there for a while. I'd say if it ha if he leaves next year, if he leaves after one year, I think Matt Kenseth might he might just go to Furniture Row, or maybe he'll be like he'll be like Jeff Gordon, go out on top. He says he doesn't want to retire, really, but signs could be pointing to him possibly being kicked out. And then, 
after that, if it's like if like Matt Kenseth decides to retire and then Eric Jones takes over, I think Daniel Suarez will probably be the next guy to take over. I mean, if you look at it, he is really the next one in line. I mean, if they give it to like Christopher Bell, that'll kind of be a disappointment because Daniel Suarez is good. It's just we'll have to see, and I think he might. He, I'd say Dan Suarez will be there longer than Eric Jones because you got Eris and they're with Carl Edwards. So I highly doubt they're just going to dump Carl Edwards. They're going to give him maybe seven to eight years before they tell before Carl Edwards moves on. And then Daniel Suarez can take over the 19 when he's ready. So that's pretty much it for this video. I went on on the Sim Sim cars. So for the poll, what do you, do you think Eric Jones will be? Good, or do you think he'll struggle in 2016? Just vote on that. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you like this video, give it a like. Like me on Facebook, NASCAR Racing Fan on YouTube, and NASCAR Thanks News page. Subscribe for more videos, and this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 signing out.